Imagine yourself trying to solve a hard problem in math and you think and think and think about it but you just can't solve it? Or are you familiar with the scenario you learn new words in the dictionary in a new language but you just can't recall it? Or maybe you tried and tried and tried to learn a new piano piece but the fingers just don't seem to remember it. All the scenarios have one scientific proven solution. It is called... sleep. During sleep, our memories become stronger, more stable for a long time, and even performance on memory tests is enhanced. This is called memory consolidation. So, what does happen in your brain when you are asleep that helps the memory so much? In several experiments, scientists recorded the neural activity of mice doing a maze task. After learning the maze, the mice went to sleep. The scientists recorded the mice neural activity during their sleep and found out an amazing result. The pattern of the neural activity during the maze task and the pattern during sleep were very similar. The difference was the pattern during sleep was much faster and noisier. What does it mean? It means that when you are asleep, your brain is experiencing the same experiences it experiences during daytime, just in a faster and noisier way. In other words, your brain memorizes for you. Actually, it is a little bit more interesting than that. We as humans have different systems of memory. Two of the most used systems are declarative memory and procedural memory. Declarative memory is for memories that are accessible consciously. This may include memories of facts, names, events, and vocabulary. Procedural memory is a memory for skills, and it doesn't have to be conscious. It may include playing the piano, making a tennis serve, riding a bike, and so on. Both declarative and procedural memory consolidation are affected differently by different sleep stages. Sleep has several stages. We will talk here about two of the stages. Slow wave sleep and REM rapid eye movement sleep. Slow wave sleep is the deepest sleep stage and it has found to be connected to declarative memory consolidation. REM sleep is the most active part of sleep. Actually, during REM, your brain is more active than when it is awake. This is a part of sleep when dreaming occurs. REM has found to be connected with procedural memory consolidation. Experiment, scientists gave a declarative memory task to participants. The task was playing the memory game, remembering in which place the same cards are located. Oh, and the room had a wonderful smell of roses. After completing the learning, the participants went to sleep. During their sleep, half of them were exposed to the same wonderful smell of roses, half of them during slow wave sleep, and half of them during REM. Those who smell the roses during their slow wave sleep improve their performance more than those who smell this wonderful smell of roses during REM. The same experiment was repeated with a procedural memory task. Remember tapping fingers pattern. In this case, there wasn't any effect of the smell on the memory performance. This experiment has also shown using brain imaging that during the slow wave sleep with the smelling there was more activity in the left anterior hippocampus which considers responsible to the encoding and decoding of memories. This experiment shows the role of the slow wave sleep on declarative memory consolidation. In another experiment two groups were given a finger tapping task to learn some sequence of finger tapping on their thumb. 
One group got a good night's sleep after learning the task, and the other group stayed awake. On the morning after, both groups were tested. The group which got a good night's sleep after practice enhanced speed of sequence performance on average by 33% and reduced error rate by 30% as compared with the group which stayed awake. Moreover, the participants who had performed better on the retest have been found to have a longer REM sleep during the night. This demonstrates the effect of REM sleep on procedural memory consolidation. In an additional study, subjects had been given two types of tasks. One procedural, a mirror tracing task. The subject had to trace a drawing figure in a minimal amount of time and with a minimal amount of errors. The second declarative. The subject had to learn pairs of words and later asked to recall a word by its pair. Both groups were divided into two additional groups. One went to sleep early and the other went to sleep late. Apple. On one hand, the study has shown that the subjects who had gone to sleep early learned the declarative task much better than the ones who had gone to sleep late and those who had stayed awake. On the other hand, subjects who had gone to sleep late and performed better on the procedural task than the other subjects. It is important to mention that early night sleep is rich with slow wave sleep, whereas late night sleep is rich with REM sleep. This means that declarative memory consolidation is affected by slow wave sleep and that procedural memory consolidation is affected by REM sleep. So, if you learn a vocabulary or study for an exam to school, make sure to go to sleep early. And if you learn a new skill today, maybe it's better to go to sleep late. better the vocabulary and how to learn better our new piano piece. But does sleep can really help us to gain insight into a math problem? In one experiment, the subjects had to make a logical task which had a shortcut. The participants did several trials of task before having a long break for sleep or for staying awake after 8 hours. Only the guys who have slept found the shortcut for the task. This shows that a good night's sleep not only improves your memory, but also solves some of your problems. How does the brain do it? Well, nobody really knows. However, there are some theories that try to explain it. The main theory is the active system consolidation. The active system consolidation theory states that there are two kinds of memory storages in our brain. One is short term and is fast learning. The other one is long term and is slow learning. During waking, memory traces are encoded in both the fast learning temporary store and the slow learning long term store. Of course, in the slow learning long term store, they are encoded weekly. During slow wave sleep, the memories in your short term store get reactivated. This causes the reactivation of the parallel memories in the long term store, which causes a reorganization of the new memories with the existing networks in the brain. During REM, the memories in the long term store get strengthened. So during your sleep, you strengthen your new learned knowledge and connect it to the existing knowledge. This connection is what might makes insight occur and is achieved only with slow wave sleep followed by REM sleep.